Good afternoon, everybody. I thought I'd do a little video on uh, painting some interior doors. I'm working on some over here at this underground house remodel. And it's a simple thing to do, but if you brush your doors and don't spray them, the difference between doing it correctly and not can really matter for a lot of years of looking at these. So, the way I do it, first of all, with these six panel doors, they're just a, a hollow four six panel door from Lowe's. I go in, and first thing I do is paint the, the panels. And every single time I do this, every side and everything, be sure that you back brush it all. Like right here, come around the panel, I do the edges first, and I just go right straight around, make sure I get a coat on all of it. Back through the middle, now that it's coated, this side needs to go this way, this side goes this way, the center gets hit, the end gets touched up, and make sure these rails are still going straight. You're done, just like that, on to the next. It doesn't take very long, it doesn't take any longer to do it right than it does to just paint it all going one direction with your brush and then from then on you'll always see those brush marks. I also add flow troll to my paint. It, it helps lay down the brush marks and causes the paint to be self-leveling so you don't have brush marks visible in the paint when you're finished. The most important thing to remember. Just like there, we've got all of this coated on this panel. Now we're going to run up each side, pick up that end, straighten these out, this end, make sure everything is dead perfect. And then we move on to the next one. This is just the first coat on this door. I do two coats always of paint on any trim, things like that, because it seems like that second coat really fills in all of the areas that you may have missed that first time around. And you can move pretty rapidly at this. It becomes almost a muscle memory thing. You know right where your paint's going to go every time. Do all the panels. And if you do this with exactly the same strategy every time, then when you get to doing your second coat on your door, and you're now painting the same color over it, you'll know exactly where you have and where you haven't painted because you do it the same way on every single door, every time. I also never paint a door while it's hanging or standing up against the wall. It's just asking for more issues, rugs, things like that. If you lay your door flat, it will help solve a lot of that. Use the self-leveling flow troll and then lay your door flat on some saw horses or something like that and do it. Even if, if I've got five, six, ten doors, whatever, I'll put my saw horses out, I'll buy a couple of 12 foot two by fours and put those two by fours across my saw horses. Now, all six panels are done. I like to start here in the middle and start doing the rails. I start right here. Every time when I finish a rail, it gets completely back brushed. We're going to come across like that. Back brush, back brush. If you catch another rail accidentally, back brush it back out too. Don't let anything sit because it dries a lot quicker than you think on these, on these doors. Especially this time of year with the heat running in the house, it's pulling the humidity out constantly, and there's just there's just no way that you'll be able to get back to it before it's already set up and set your brush marks right into the paint, and there's nothing you can do about it at that point. You know, you can say it saves a lot of time to paint an existing door hanging, but if customer satisfaction is what you're going for in your business, then take the time it takes. If you take the time it takes, you'll usually find it'll take less time. You'll get used to doing it correctly every single time, and this goes into everything that you do, really. 
But if you do it correctly every single time, pretty quickly, even if it takes you a little longer at first, doing it correctly will be faster in the long run. I back brush the back side rail down to the doorknob cut out, and then I start on the other side of that. Bring this right on down to the end. Back brush this end back again. Now it's time for the bottom rail. Come right across there. And we're coming up on a finished door. At least a first coat. I'll let this dry. Oh, it takes maybe two hours in this house with the furnace running to be ready for a new coat. We'll get the second coat on right before we quit for the day today, be the last thing we do. And then these two doors will be ready to get hung tomorrow with their new hardware knobs and all that good stuff. So I've got about 18 doors to do in this one house. I'm not, I don't like to spray them, so this is just how I do it. I know a lot of people will say they're, they can do this a lot faster when there's a lot of doors spraying, but not, not what I prefer to do. It's just too much setup, too much cleanup, all that, when I can set up here and do a door in just a few minutes. If you only have one to do, obviously it'd be way faster this way, but with as many as I've got here spraying would probably be better, but to me it's not worth the hassle. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and uh, hopefully you've picked up a few tips on painting a door.